Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make blueberry sea moss. It's very easy. Let's get right into it. So we've got our sea moss and we've got wild blueberries as well. And if you haven't seen my video on how to get your sea moss to this point because this has been sitting in water for 24 hours and it has expanded, please refer to my other video on how to make sea moss. So once you follow those steps, if you know what to do, you'll be putting your sea moss in a smoothie blender or a cup, however you're going to blend it, because this is going to be our next step. And once we've done that, we're going to have to combine whatever we're using as our infuser. In this case, it's our wild blueberries. These are pretty good quality as well. Pretty easy to find. They are frozen as well. So we're putting it in a bowl and it's up to you how much you want to use um, the more blueberries you put obviously the less sea moss you're going to taste you don't want to put too much because again fruit is sugar and we don't want to take away any of the properties and benefits from the sea moss but uh blueberries are pretty good they're pretty low on the glycemic index so they shouldn't really take away from the effects so i've put in a decent amount Again, I'm not filling it all the way to the top. You could put more, obviously, if you want. You're going to add water and fill it up all the way until everything is submerged. And then you're going to take your smoothie cup and we're going to blend it. So I'm using a Ninja blender. Really good. Highly recommend it. I think you can get it on Amazon. And yeah, I'm going to press it down. And I'm going to put this on, you know, the normal blend setting. And I'm going to let this go for one minute. That's actually the, the set time limit on my blender. But one minute of mixing could be good. And the longer you mix it for, the more uh, runny the consistency will be. So if you're looking for more of a, a thicker, thicker consistency when you're consuming it, then I wouldn't blend it for as long. Maybe half the time, 30 to 40 seconds instead of a full minute. But... It's really up to you at your discretion. And once this is done, here's how it looks. So here's the consistency. It's nice and runny. And yeah, all we're going to do is put this in a mason jar. And for this, you can store it essentially up to a month without it going bad. As long as you consume it before that, I recommend taking two spoonfuls a day to get the maximum benefits and I like to add this stuff to smoothies or just take it on its own. And yeah, if you like this video, subscribe for more CMOS related content.